I do think I have the best Mexican food in, in the country. It's fresh, home cooking, Mexican style. And I have the prettiest Volvos in the country, I think, too. I was born on a farm in Central City. Um, my dad was a pilot, he was a crop duster at the time, and he got a job for SMB Stage Lines, which was a, a place that kind of was the first FedEx, and they flew stuff from here to there. And 23 years ago, I uh, had a friend that I was in the Air Force with, and he lived in Omaha and went to Offutt Air Force Base, was stationed there, and he said, there's this little convenience store, and I bet we can get it cheap and we should go for it and we did and, and I moved here and sold everything and didn't pay myself for two years and we made it work. A lot of hard work. But Nebraska is a great place, great people. Couldn't pick a better place to be. It had a clunk in the back. We put new bushings in the back. Now it's perfect. Ma'am, I'm a collector, uh, just an admirer of the cars and cars. You know, when I was a kid, I was just cars, drawing cars, into cars. I've always had old Mustangs and, you know, even when I was in Europe, I had neat cars. And the first car I really restored was a 62 Juliet the Spider Alfa Romeo, my baby. And just kind of been into it ever since. Bought my first Volvo in 90 went out to California and bought two Jensen P1800s. And easy to work on, especially for a guy like me. Parts are available and they're beautiful. So it's, I'm just a car nut. It's just what makes me happy. And yeah, when I first started doing it, it was more buying a decent car and putting some new interior bits in it. And, uh, and now we've stripped them all the way down and I've taken the cars to the blaster and blasted them and everything re-chromed and motor rebuilt and everything ordered from VP Auto Parts from Sweden. So I'm really kind of trying to do them now all the way and have some almost concourse cars just to do it just because I'm a picky finicky kind of guy and I'd like to have a really nice one. That thing's great about these cars is you can be doing 35 and 4th gear and still accelerate, you know. Um, one of the reasons I like to bring a trailer is I've bought in, uh, maybe 100 cars in my lifetime and not everybody's very honest and a lot of people will tell you it's rust free and, you know, rust free is, means you don't see any rust, but that doesn't mean it's rust free and, um, you know, with bring a trailer you've got people asking for more pictures, you've got people going out and looking at the cars, you get people to say, hey, I know this car. You know, that builds a lot of trust in what you're buying is what they say. And that's very important. The nice thing about it is everybody can comment on the cars. People that know more about the car that you're bidding on can chime in and go, this isn't right or this is right. And you know, that's one thing you can't get from anywhere else unless you, even if you go to an auction, you don't get somebody out test driving it for you. And, going out and taking a look at it. Just people being able to talk about it and you be able to ask the seller questions and if he doesn't reply, there's probably something wrong. So, you know, bring a trailer, I think, is right on the way they're doing things. And I think it's great. I'll be selling my cars on bring a trailer for sure. That's what I like about the Volvos is it's not a, okay car with a big motor it's a beautiful beautiful car period and that's what cars are about is you know the looks pretty 